you read that title right, this right here, without a doubt, is one of the greatest albums of all time. It may even be the best. This funky 1987 jazz masterpiece by Hamiko Kikuchi seems to have fallen under the radar of most people, and today, I plan to change that. This is a video about why Flying Beagle is a perfect album from beginning to end. Before we jump, or fly, to the music, let me just talk about the cover for this record because it's truly amazing. This adorable yet intriguing album art was what initially piqued my interest, the dog's eyes staring deep into my soul with a smile that encouraged me to come take a listen. And boy howdy did I enjoy that first listen. The album has an explosively groovy start with Look Your Back, which sets the tone for what's to come perfectly. I don't really know how to explain this song, or really the album as a whole, as anything other than funky as hell, because that's exactly what it is, just the funkiest damn thing to ever exist. And if you don't believe me, just take a little listen to this aforementioned look your back, because it'll blow your fucking socks off, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I couldn't really uh, play as much as I would have wanted to of that just because of possible copyright bullshit. So if that sounded good to you, just go listen to the song. There ain't gonna be a single atom in your body that regrets it. Flying Beagle is probably the only album I've ever listened to where I don't even consider skipping a song. There isn't a single bad track on here, and I don't even think I have a favorite one either. Every single song is just so cohesive and great that the album is better experienced all the way through, rather than just listening to each song separately. Even on some of my other favorite albums, which I consider to be some of the best ever written, I, they have songs that I'd rather just skip. Like on Metallica's Black album, I usually stop listening after of Wolf and Man because I think it just kind of drops off after that point. Or I'll skip Running With The Devil when I listen to Van Halen's 1978 debut classic, which I'll probably make a video about because that's amazing too. Anyways, back to the Beagle. There's not a single weak track on this entire record. All eight songs, Look Your Back, A Seagull in Clouds, Flying Beagle, Fluffy, Sandstorm, Baby Talk, The Second Summer, and Ducky Ducky are all straight heat and it should be a crime how underrated they all are. Each song is a masterpiece, flawlessly mixed, composed, and performed. Two things that stand out the most to me as amazing are the bass, played by multiple people and all incredibly talented musicians, and the keyboards, of course being played by Himiko herself. She's an absolutely nasty keyboard player, and I mean that in the best way possible. I've never heard keyboards that sound as incredible and alive as the ones on this album. Himiko Kikuchi is without a doubt my new favorite keyboardist, which is hard to say considering how much of an Eddie Van Halen fanboy I am. I don't have too much more to say here, so I'll leave you with some final closing words. If anything that I played in this video sounded good to you, Please, go listen to Flying Beagle. It'll fix anything wrong in your life. Divorce? Flying Beagle's a better partner anyway. Cancer diagnosis? Flying Beagle can treat that. Or if you're just bored and need something new to listen to, the Beagle's got your back. So with that, y'all have a good day, and until next time, I'm Schnorfel. And yeah, that's it.